after a windy afternoon, the winds died down briefly this evening, but they're picking back up again, getting some gusts up to around 30 miles per hour. That's all as the next cold front rolls through and between the couple cold fronts that have gone through today, temperatures are going to plunge a ton. Uh, we had the winds whip up out ahead of that with wind gusts up to uh, right around 45 miles per hour across the board. So a very blustery afternoon, still seeing the winds now. That's all ahead of. All this extra chilly air flooding in uh, from Canada. Uh, we are, were in the warm sector earlier today with temperatures near 80 degrees. You can still see some of that uh, well out ahead of the colder air. We have one cold front that's passed us, uh, so we're down into the 60s. Second one on the way, kicking up the winds, will drop us down even more, resulting in a nearly 25 degree drop in temperature between this afternoon and tomorrow afternoon. So for tonight, uh, conditions aren't going to be extra chilly just yet. 45 degrees coming for the overnight low. We've had that a couple times this week. We'll see a mainly cloudy sky and those breezy winds continuing. By the time we get to tomorrow afternoon, we're only up maybe 10 degrees over the morning low. So we barely warm up tomorrow. And again, when we were closer to 80 degrees today, this is a huge drop off going into tomorrow. Partly cloudy conditions expected. Breezy winds gusting out of the northwest around 25 miles per hour. Of course, that's just half the story. We have to talk about wind chills. We have those breezy winds and the chilly air. You can see the morning stays basically in the 30s of the wind chill. We do recover some in the afternoon. Temperatures get back into the 50s. The wind chills get up into the 50s. 50s, but then looking at brisk conditions again going into tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. So extra layers may be needed as we go throughout our Thursday. We also have already freeze watches out. So this is going uh, about 24 hours from now, but the National Weather Service issuing that well ahead of time because we are expecting temperatures to be down into the upper 20s in some spots. Uh, so basically much of the state line uh, along and then east of I-39 under that freeze watch, uh, which just means the freezing weather could kill sensitive plants like crops in your garden. If you want to keep that going, try to cover those up. So we go into the weekend, holding on to the chill. We're looking at the 50s for the most part, though Saturday does have a brief warm up back to the 60s, but that could be the warm days ahead. Uh, we may be past that time where we talk about 70s and 80s uh, for warm days and maybe looking at the 60s now moving forward as our little bit of a warm up. We'll see some windy conditions again for the start of the weekend. We have to keep an eye on some shower chances this weekend as well. Future treks showing possibility of a few sprinkles Saturday morning. Those leave quickly and don't drop much for rainfall. We'll be somewhat cloudy throughout the rest of the day. Then as we head into Sunday, I think a higher chance for rainfall arrives. You can see that slide in towards the end of the morning and we may have some on and off light rainfall throughout the day that should all start to leave as we go into Sunday night. The chill doesn't leave yet though. After that brief warm up on Saturday, we drop down to the low 50s. So we're bordering on the 40s here going into early next week. There is another milder day ahead for next Wednesday and your most accurate 10 day forecast conditions stay between the 50s and 60s long term with more chances for rain late next week, James. Alex, thanks. Still to come.